We're talking about the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew, everybody should know, is divided into five blocks of information, ending with a sort of chorus which says, when Jesus had finished all these sayings, five blocks of information. Why is Matthew doing that? Because Matthew is trying to tell us that Jesus is the new Moses. Not the old Moses, not just repeating the law of Moses in the letter, because if Jesus is just repeating the law of Moses in the letter, he's a pretty bad model for us. We ought to be keeping the law of Moses in the letter, shouldn't we? So the issue we're dealing with here, and it's a huge one, is what is our model for Christianity? Who is our model Christian? The answer is Jesus is. And he's introducing the words of the new covenant, the new arrangement. Jesus is called in Hebrews several times the mediator of the new covenant. Well, not just by dying, although the blood, of course, ratifies, brings into force officially <coughs> all those words. But I want to know, what are the words of the New Covenant? Well, they're right here in what we call our New Testament. You see, the word has become a bit foggy. We should call, call our New Testament really New Covenant Scriptures. The New Covenant Scriptures, what we have from Matthew onwards. These are the words of Jesus. The words that I speak to you, Jesus said, are spirit and life. You get the word spirit. They're not death. They're not deadly, boring things, not a series of tedious commandments that everybody has to keep and struggle to keep in great detail. Even food laws, Jesus said, are no more. That's very important in Mark 7. Thus he said, he realized this later, probably not at the time, Jesus actually wound up saying the food laws in Leviticus 11 are not binding now. So if you want to have pork, go for it. If you don't want to have pork, that's fine. If you're weak enough to be a vegetarian, that's fine. That's your choice. However, do not get hung up on legalistic matters that are not within the purview of what Jesus taught as New Testament Christianity, New Covenant Christianity. So people say, well, doesn't the New Covenant first come into force with Israel in the future? It's true that that will happen. Israel and Judah, now blinded, are going to come to some huge resurgence of recognition of truth through the Great Tribulation, and the New Covenant will certainly be made with them. But for right now... The new covenant has to be made with you. You're the ones grafted into the true people of God. You're the Israel of God, the true circumcision. And so the words of Jesus are everything for us, not just his death and resurrection. So what the devil effectively has done is said, Christianity is simply Jesus died for you. Let me quote Billy Graham. Billy Graham says, Jesus came to do three days work. Excuse me? Three days work? I thought he worked for three years. That's why the first miracle is turning boring, wa turning boring water into exciting wine. Yes, alcohol. From water to wine. You don't put a new patch on an old piece of garment. It's all new and exciting, but Unitarians even have been less than excited about Jesus. We're so keen on getting God right, and that's wonderful. We now know he's one. But let's not underestimate the importance of Messiah and his teaching. The words that I speak to, this was uh, Steve Ahn's favorite text, by the way, our Korean pastor, the words that I speak to you, Jesus said, our ah, spirit, they're life-imparting words. Try feeding on the words of Messiah and you may find your life getting better, your health getting better.